Hey docs, we've got another powerful marketing tip for you today. And you're also gonna hear from one of our docs who's made a tweak in his presentations and in his marketing that yielded five to six new patients at his first event. You'll hear from him in just a minute. But part of our marketing tip today that I wanna get across is that who you learn your marketing from is becoming increasingly important. And a lot of times I have doctors who call and ask me questions or send me emails about their marketing and inherently within their question, I know they're learning from someone who's not in the game. Now when it comes to procedures, exams, things that are based around management, by all means, that's okay. But if you haven't noticed, the economy has changed in the last four to five years. And oftentimes they're learning their marketing from someone who hasn't practiced in 10 to 12 years, which means they're way out of touch. And built into some of their marketing materials and procedures are flaws that are really not going to allow the marketing plan to get off the ground. In other words, it's a flop from the start because of who you're learning it from, not so much what they're doing or how they're doing it, but just the inherent nature of the person that they're getting the material from. I'll come back to this in a second, but I want you to learn a very important segment here and a short snippet from Dr. Dan Greenlee, who proves my point that learning marketing from someone in the game is of monumental importance because at his first marketing event, after he and I spoke and he got dialed into our Corporate Skeleton Key program, just what an impact that had on him. So this week, we are saluting Dr. Dan Greenlee up in Seattle, Washington for making a minor change that yielded major results, but that's where the benefit is. When you learn from someone in the game, it's the detailed strokes not the big vision that yield you more new patients. Listen to Dr. Dan. I'm Dr. Dan Greenley. I practice in Olympia, Washington. I'm a new member of CSK, um, and I have really appreciated the services of CSK. We gave our first talk, we're, we're pretty new in the program, but we gave our first talk uh, after having done CSK training, and it's been remarkably different from how I used to do talks. Uh, we spoke in front of about 30 people, and we had about 13 people prepay to schedule for appointments. Three of those people scheduled for their spouses who were outside the room. And huge things that were different from how I gave the talks before. Dr. Brad uh, taught us how to speak outside the room. Uh, taught me to speak a lot more uh, engaging with my audience instead of relying so much on slides and presentation. And most importantly, taught me how to uh, close uh, in a motivational, um, heartfelt uh, way that was compelling but didn't feel pushy or, or uh, and was 100% ethical. Uh, and that was incredibly exciting. Uh, the other benefit is that the training in CSK has been hugely helpful for staff. Uh, we've hired somebody off Craigslist uh, who very motivated and it was nice for me to be able to direct them to the CSK website and the resources uh, in Dr. Brad's office. Uh, to get trained and up to speed and she's focused and excited and has very specific goals for uh, what she's going to do. Um, I feel very confident that this is a huge thing for us to do to move our practice forward and to begin to attract patients that fit who we are. So when they come into the office they know who we are, they know what our approach is, they know what our philosophy is and there's already that initial resonance that's just so important to uh, start that first step. So I'm very thankful to be part of CSK um, and that's all I have to say. Okay doc, so there you heard it from Dr. Dan himself. Now one of the things I got emailed recently, and I've heard this question over and over, and I want to put this myth to bed, is that doctors are doing lectures and free lectures in places like public libraries. They're doing them also in the middle of the day. They do them sometimes at night. And part of the problem is that you're not pre-qualifying your audience. So they pass out a bunch of flyers, they give out a bunch of info, heavy cost, heavy labor intensive, to build an audience, to go to a group that's not pre-qualified, and oftentimes they're doing these lectures in libraries where these people may or may not have jobs, and what these docs are finding is quite often they don't. So the reason we put together our Corporate Skeleton Key program is one of the first and most important things in your marketing is you pre-qualify your audience. And what's a better pre-qualifier than the people actually have a job or are employed? Then if you want to get into the detailed strokes of insurance versus cash, you can build your dream practice however you want. And that's just what we've been doing with the Corporate Skeleton Key program. So we not only teach you how to get in, how to set up 
pre-acquired audiences so you don't have to throw the party in other words you're just the star of the show major difference and you can start choosing some of the detailed strokes on whether it's insurance or cash based. If you're interested in the corporate skeleton key, which basically shows you or your CA how to set up your own talks, how to set up your own marketing venues, then send me an email at maven at newpatientmaven.com and we'll set you up for a web tour to explain all the details. But essentially what we do with the corporate skeleton key is you can take a CA who can become your marketing outreach and community outreach with a minimum of five hours a week, an hour a day, and a maximum, this is a max and another tip for you, at 20 hours a week. If you have a marketing person working for you 40 hours a week, then the double tip in this video is that they're working too much and they're not the most effective person they can be. Cut them back to 20 hours a week, use the other 20 to do your exams or consults, way better off. But please quit doing these free lectures at public libraries or other venues where you haven't pre-qualified your audience. Unless you know who's in front of you, you're going to have a harder time delivering a spot-on message. And there is a third tip. Who before how. Who is more important than how you deliver it? And I think we've loaded you up on marketing tips today, Docs. Come see us at the California Jam. We are also doing a breakfast at the California Jam on Saturday. If you're interested in learning more about the Corporate Skeleton Key and you have some questions of me in person, but you do need to RSVP, please send an email to shannon at newpatientmaven.com or to maven at newpatientmaven.com. We only have room for 100 seats. It's Saturday morning. Breakfast is included from 7.30 to 8.30. And then the jam starts on Saturday. And I'm speaking on Saturday afternoon right before my good buddy Patch and Temple. So I'm excited. Be at the California Jam. And let us know if you want to learn more about the Corporate Skeleton Key. But this week, we honor and salute a phenomenal student. Someone who put these detailed strokes into action after one event made a major shift and got out of doing some of these other events at empty libraries where there's crickets there, not patients. Take care, docs. Keep charging.